Did you know that certain foods can either protect your hearing or slowly damage it over time? That what you eat could be either nourishing your inner ear or silently sabotaging it? You see, most people don't realize that hearing health isn't just about avoiding loud noises or using earplugs. It's deeply connected to your nutrition. And the surprising truth is this. Your ears are hungry, hungry for specific nutrients that keep the tiny, delicate cells in your auditory system functioning at their best. I'm Dr. Hamid Jalilian. I've spent over two decades treating patients with hearing loss, tinnitus, and complex ear disorders. One thing I always remind my patients is this. Your ears, like any part of your body, need the right fuel. And yet, hardly anyone talks about what that actually means. So let me walk you through the foods, the golden foods, I like to call them, that you should be including in your diet if you truly care about your hearing. Let's start with the foundation, antioxidants. Why do antioxidants matter so much? Because oxidative stress, the process that damages cells due to an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants, has been directly linked to age-related and noise-induced hearing loss. One of the most powerful antioxidants for ear health is vitamin C. It helps protect the tiny hair cells in your cochlea from damage. You can get it from citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, strawberries, and bell peppers. But don't stop there. Vitamin E is another critical nutrient, and it works synergistically with vitamin C. It improves blood flow, which is essential because the inner ear is one of the most sensitive parts of the body when it comes to oxygen and nutrient delivery. Think almonds, sunflower seeds, and spinach. Now you might be wondering, what about minerals? Are they important too? Absolutely. Magnesium is one of the most studied minerals in the context of hearing protection. It helps guard the inner ear from noise-induced damage and helps maintain normal nerve function. Bananas, avocados, and dark chocolate are all excellent sources. And don't forget about potassium. As we age, potassium levels decline, which can affect the fluid in our inner ears. Foods like sweet potatoes, melons, and spinach help replenish those stores. But here's something that might surprise you, omega-3 fatty acids. Yes, the same nutrients that are good for your heart are also good for your ears. Research has shown that people who consume omega-3s regularly are less likely to experience age-related hearing loss. Salmon, flax seeds, and walnuts are fantastic sources. Why? Because omega-3s improve blood flow and reduce inflammation, two critical factors for ear health. What about zinc? Zinc is essential for immune function and has been linked to protecting against tinnitus and ear infections. It also supports the repair of cellular damage. You can find it in shellfish like oysters, as well as in beef, pumpkin seeds, and lentils. Now let's take a step back. You might be thinking, can food really make that much of a difference? Isn't hearing loss mostly genetic or caused by loud noise? That's partly true. But just like with heart disease or diabetes, Lifestyle and nutrition play a major role in determining how your body copes with stressors. In fact, a 2020 study found that people with a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats had a 30% lower risk of developing hearing loss compared to those on a typical Western diet. But let's flip the question. What foods should you avoid if you want to protect your ears? Excessive sodium, for one. High salt intake can alter the fluid balance in your inner ear and contribute to conditions like Meniere's disease. Processed foods, fast food, and salty snacks are best minimized. Also, too much sugar can impact circulation and nerve function, both of which are important for hearing. Refined carbs, sugary drinks, and sweets should be limited. And here's something else most people don't consider, alcohol and caffeine. In moderate amounts, they might not cause problems, but in excess, they can impact blood flow and dehydrate the body, both of which can affect the inner ear. So the next time you reach for that third cup of coffee or extra cocktail, ask yourself, is it worth the risk to your hearing? So how do you start making changes? It doesn't have to be overwhelming. Begin by adding more of the golden foods, a spinach and orange salad, grilled salmon with sweet potato, a handful of almonds and berries as a snack. Drink more water. Cut back gradually on salty or sugary snacks. Every small step you take builds a healthier foundation for your hearing. Think of your ears like a high-performance instrument. They don't just need protection from the outside world. They need internal nourishment to stay in tune. No supplement or surgery can replace the benefits of a consistently healthy diet. And if you're already experiencing hearing difficulties or tinnitus, making these dietary changes may not reverse the condition, 
but they can certainly help reduce progression and support your overall auditory health. The earlier you start, the better your outcomes tend to be. If you'd like a more structured list of the key nutrients and the foods highest in each, I've included a resource in the description below. You'll also find links to supplements I recommend for patients who may not be able to get enough from food alone. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. On this channel, I help you understand the science of hearing in a way that empowers you to take action. Your ears are worth protecting. Let's take care of them together.